Hey everybody, it's Mr. Eggstitch. Hey, it's me. Long time, no see. Things are slowly getting back to normal. Who would have thought? I only moved house a year ago, but this time around it's just taken so much longer to get used to, or to adapt to. I think the last house we moved into is a four bedroom house. We had loads of extra space. You just put stuff and then worry about it later. And now we've kind of downsized into a three bedroom house. It's been a squash and a squeeze to try and work out how to get everything sorted. So it's taken me, yeah, just a lot longer to get my office in shape and then sort of to get my job in shape. You know, I'm really grateful that my work has carried on while I haven't, but yeah, I'm still kind of, what do I do for a living? And trying to see what plates I've got spinning, try and get them spinning again. Keep the ball rolling on the next issue of X Stitch Magazine. The theme is cute. Yeah. Um, and all of those sorts of things. So finding the capacity for making YouTube videos and stuff, it just, it's just not in my head quite yet. But I love you guys and I miss you guys. So I thought I'd better drop a little thing. Basically, well, the thing I wanted to mention is that the latest issue of the Lovecraft Show podcast has come out and it's a great episode. We had a lot of fun recording it uh, with an author called Sally Coulthard, who's written a book called The Short History of the World According to Sheep. And it's a great book. It is a great book. It's like when you read it, you realize that sheep have played a part in all of our lives. Sheep are involved, were instrumental in like the evolution of IVF. And yet sheep were mentioned in Jason and the Argonauts and they've been around, they've led to the invention of the scissors. They've led to human evolution. The Vikings depended on sheep in their world conquering abilities. And the book's fascinating. And Sally's written so many other great books about bees and plants and sheds and whatnot. So it's just a really, we had a really fun interview with her. She's a great person, very charismatic. I did a quiz called Ram or Sham where we did, is this a rare breed sheep name or is this a character from Game of Thrones or some such or other? Um, but yeah, just a great interview really. So if you get the opportunity, search out The Love Craft Show on your favorite podcast app, listen to it. If you like it, please leave us a review. And uh, there are many other episodes. We just recorded our fourth episode of the second series with the Instagram sensation Vicky Knits. So that'll be good. And yeah, I mean, it's been great to get back into the groove of that. I do. I do so love doing the Lovecraft show. You know, I don't work for Lovecraft, but my, ah, bright, Merian, my co-host and I get along great guns and it's just great to interview all these interesting people. So I would recommend on that latest episode, I would recommend, what the blinking blink, there we go. I'd recommend uh, the book. It's a really good one. Probably one of the best books I've written in ages. Cause like I say, you just realize that sheep, sheep have changed the world and yet nobody notices. So uh, find the book. It's an ideal gift for, you know, one of those books at Christmas that people like, that sort of thing. It'd be great for that. Um, and do listen to the show. And with a bit of luck, I'll have my act together soon and I'll speak to you again. But uh, love you guys. Let me know how you're getting on. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye now.